special. You are looking live at the Barclays Center for the most esteemed night of the year, where we honor legends who have paved the way for the superstars of today. And tonight, those legends will take their rightful place in the 2019 class of the WWE Hall of Fame. But before we get to the Hall of Fame, we're making a pit stop, and that pit stop is right here on the red carpet. My name is Byron Saxton, and my partner in crime is a New York Times best-selling author, the founder of the AfterBuzz TV network, and a wonderful human being, Aww. Maria Menounos. How you doing? I'm great. So happy to be oh, back yeah, with hug you. It, hug it. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, to Bailey right there. I love you. You know so what this nice means, you. right? What? This is number four for us, four years in a row that we've Woo, been doing this. baby! Yeah. And I love it every time. And you know what's cool about it? If this is your first time watching the Red Carpet Show, what's cool about it is that we get to chronicle all the superstars, mm -hmm. the legends who make their way down the Red Carpet. We get their insights. We even hear from some superstars who are competing tomorrow night at WrestleMania. Oh, wow. so exciting. And I'm so excited about everyone who's being inducted tonight. I'm so excited about the new stuff here, you guys. You haven't seen this done like this I'm before. excited about this outfit. Like, this Thanks. is amazing. <laughs> you're totally shy. I thought I was rocking the Beetlejuice look, and you're totally <laughs> showing me up here. Beetlejuice! I don't know what Beetlejuice, to do. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, we're not going to waste any more time. Let's no. send things over to our broadcast colleague, Charlie Caruso, who is standing by on the red carpet with our first guest. Absolutely. Feels so wonderful to be here at the Hall of Fame on the eve of WrestleMania. Also feels great to be joined by my guest here on the red carpet, Shinsuke Nakamura, who looks ever so handsome tonight. Oh, thank you. Yeah. How do you feel? You know, it's the eve of WrestleMania. We're here in New York City. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Yeah, I love this town, this city. Yeah, because uh, always uh, audience, so give me energy, yeah, huge energy. Yeah. Huge energy. We have a lot of legends being inducted yeah. tonight. Who are you most excited to see go into the Hall of Fame? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Hannah. Yeah, Vegan. Yeah, there. Any specific reason why? <clears throat> Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, cause, uh, so, Hunter was uh, always, uh, so being the, our leader of NXT, so, so I'm proud, like, uh, kind of celebrating the him, yeah. Well, Shinsuke, thank you so much. This is definitely going to be a night to remember and also going to be a night to remember for Gala, Kayla Braxton, who it is her very first time here on the Hall of Fame red carpet. That's right, Charlie. This is so cool. I'm starting to see people file in, and they're getting loud, and they're getting excited. And I honestly can't think of anyone I would rather be on the red carpet with first than you, Dana Warrior. And you've been kind of like a mom to me and all of the women in WWE lately. Um, and so this is a huge night, and obviously this night means a lot for you. But first, how was your time kind of back here involved with WWE been so far? Oh, my goodness. It's been an honor. And truly, like, I see all of you women, and I want the best for you. I want great things things to happen. I've always championed my daughters, my girlfriends, and I see you guys all as family. So I want you to just uh, like hit it out of the park. So whenever I'm here, like I, I, you were fixing the lipstick off my teeth just before we went live. So I appreciate that. No, it wasn't the lipstick. It was just a little hair that I had to truly, I think that women need to champion one another and we want the best for one another. You want to say like, go and be everything that you've ever dreamed of being. And if we do that as women, we are unstoppable. That's all. That's the, that's the last glass ceiling is to get women to be behind one another so absolutely I'm sure your beautiful daughters Maddie and Andy are incredibly proud of you and I got to know them a little bit backstage and I can tell that you have definitely inspired them and rubbed off on them how proud of you of your mom I'm so proud she's so incredible I don't know how she does it but she's amazing and uh, obviously we have history being made at WrestleMania the first ever women's main event Andy do you have any thoughts on that I think it's wonderful. They're getting what they deserved, you know, the equality, and I really appreciate it. And you see these incredible, young, fierce women up there doing what they love to do, equal to the men, and I appreciate what they're doing. It's great. All right. Well, you know, you guys are strong warrior women. You inspire everyone. You're definitely inspiring me. Guys, thank you so much. Looking forward to the weekend with you guys. Byron, Maria, we're heading, uh, sending it back to you guys. Yeah, I think it's only fitting that tonight we're going to induct one of the greatest tag teams in WCW history in Harlem Heat, but this one of the greatest tag teams ever. We got the Hardy Boys joining us right here on the red carpet. Matt Hardy, his wife, Rebby, and of course, Jeff Hardy. I'm gonna start with you, Jeff. You've been to a few of these. You've been to a few WrestleManias. What is this night like for you? Last year, I wasn't a part of WrestleMania, so I came back the night after. So this year is so special to me because I'm gonna be rocking it, man. 
Dude, I can't wait to get in that Andre the Giant Battle Royal, man. How's your shoulder? Matt, oh, it's good. It's great. Like, Matt won last year, so now we gotta we got to challenge each other, kind of, you know? <laughs> little brotherly rivalry tomorrow night? Uh, maybe so. I'm hoping I can depend on him to uh, team up with me. We can eliminate everybody else. We're going to need a couple guys to eliminate Braun Strowman, for sure. Anyway, I have to defend my crown. I actually won it last year, so... Maybe I'll be the first guy in the history of WWE World Wrestling Entertainment to win it twice. Rebby, what do you think? Is he going to make it? I think he can definitely do it. And if he doesn't do it, it's going to be a hardy. So we're going to keep it in the family tonight. I love it. I love it. Increasing the odds. I like that. So tell me, who, who Jeff, are you looking forward to seeing inducted the most here tonight? Oh, by far, man. Harlem Heat, dude. Harlem Heat, man, killer tag team. Heart Foundation, the uh, D-Generation X. I mean, it's amazing. I can't wait to witness that, you know? I'm so excited Ooh, about that legendary, as well. Legendary. Legendary. Matt? Big moment. I, I do. I'm in, I'm in agreement that I, I think it's cool that so many tag teams are being inducted tonight. D-Generation X, obviously, huge trend centers, changed so much in the business. Mm -hmm. Harlem Heat, Heart Foundation, we're huge fans of the Heart Foundation and the Rockers and the British Bulldogs Ooh, and the all chills. the teams in that era. <laughs> I mean, th that was one of the reasons we were so inspired to, and motivated to have the late 90s be like the late 80s when you had the Hardys and Edge and Christian and the Dudleys and the Acolytes and the APA and Too Cool, everybody else. So it was uh, very cool. Tag Team Wrestling is at the forefront tonight in school. I love it. Well, you guys have fun tonight. Enjoy and good luck tomorrow. We're going to throw over to Ch Charlie right now. Well, I just heard tag team wrestling is at the forefront and who better to join me next on the red carpet than Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. Ladies, you look stunning. I know. Oh, I know. Thank you look so good. Thank you. Or should I say Iconic? Oh, sure. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like the pose. So far, yeah, yeah. Keep working on it, but that's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Ladies, tonight is, is such an exciting evening. We're going to watch legends being inducted. Who are you most excited to see go into the Hall of Fame tonight? I'm so excited to see Tori. Yeah. Um, we're a bit biased. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, she's had an incredible career, and we're excited to see her get inducted in her rightful place yes, in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely, yeah. Well, the women have made so much headway in WWE. I mean, tomorrow you two have a huge match battling for the Women's Tag Team Championships. How are you feeling ahead of that match? Very excited. Yeah. Um, we are, the, the nerves are definitely getting to us, but. This has been 15 years in the making. Peyton and I have been working for this for that long, um, since day one, since we first met, and it's all coming to fruition. That's our word of the day, um, tomorrow. So, <laughs> oh, exciting. Yes. Um, it's, it's our destiny is calling, and we're, we're stepping towards our destiny, yes. so we're very excited. Well, ladies, we wish you the very best of luck. We hope you enjoy this evening and enjoy all of WrestleMania weekend and all it has to offer. Thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, there's plenty more to come for the WWE Hall of Fame red carpet, but we will be back in just a minute after a quick break. In a house of legends, there's only one hall of immortality. The Attitude. How did you not down with that? The Music Man. Bigger than the Rolling Stones, even bigger than a Beatles reunion. The tag team. Many consider them the dominant tag team of the 90s. The All-American Guru. Tori Wilson, a true trailblazer. The Barber. The Barber is a cut above the rest. And a family legacy. You're going to find out we are the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. <laughs> in our house, greatness lives in the WWE Hall of Fame. Streaming live on WWE Network tonight, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Hey guys, the stars are filing in tonight. It is uh, pretty glamorous over here and I'm back here on the red carpet with my guest Bobby Lashley and his beautiful family. How you look? Stellar. I can't get over this. Get up. How are you feeling? I feel like a million bucks. You look like a million bucks. All of you, Brooke. How are you? You look beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, this is a huge weekend. We. Are, it is the evening of the show of shows. WrestleMania. I was just asking you guys. You excited? Yeah. 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 Pretty excited. I was looking. I thought I saw Leo Rush, but uh, we have Miles here. And said, what do you think about all of this? Um, I think it's great. <laughs> What's gonna happen tomorrow? What do you think in that uh, big uh, Intercontinental Championship match? Uh, my dad will win and throw. Finn Balor out of the ring. Uh, oh, okay, well, what, smart he's man. a smart man. You gotta agree with him, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They've been watching wrestling for a long time. They've been following me ever since I've been back. They're my biggest support staff, so it's been great. 
Well, uh, what are you most looking forward to? Like this entire weekend, of course, is extremely special. And having your family here, uh, getting to see you on the grandest stage of them all. Absolutely. That and then, you know, it's going to be a huge crowd tomorrow, so I can't wait to perform. I mean, the bigger the crowd, uh, the better the performance. Well, we're here tonight at the WWE Hall of Fame. So is there any of, of the people, uh, superstars, getting inducted tonight that uh, you're actually, okay, we're going to get back to, back to that. I think right now we're going to toss it back. But uh, we'll get back to you, uh, Byron and Maria, heading it back. Thank we're you very right much, here. Kayla. And we are standing by with the former acting general manager of Monday Night Raw and a man who's going to be kind of busy tomorrow night because you, Aaron, are taking on Kurt Angle in his farewell match. Of course, you've received uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, controversial reaction. Well, let's go with mixed reviews. Mixed reviews. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of people want to see John Cena out there. They want to see another legendary opponent. But... Uh, you know, I'm trying to make my mark here, so I think it's an, an important spot for me, and I look at retiring Kurt Angle as a loser. So what's the plan? Like, how bad is it going to be? <laughs> I mean, I think it's going to be brutal. I think uh, it's going to be a, a tough night for me as well, not only with just the crowd, because I'm sure the crowd's angry and upset, but Kurt is an Olympic gold medalist. He is a former world champion. I mean, his accolades are, are through the roof, and he knows this is his last one, so I'm sure he's going to put everything he's got left on the table. You've been studying him, right? <laughs> Nonstop. You have to. When you're going against a guy of that caliber, you have to study. You need to get Mr. Backlund to come, like, give you a few pointers, <laughs> right? <laughs> See, yes. The, here's a little network plug. We got the network, so I can go back and watch all those, uh, you know, Kurt Angle uh, epic matches that he's had through his career, and it, it makes it very helpful for me. Exactly. I love it. So this is arguably one of the biggest matches of your career, of course. How hard is it to just sit here at the Hall of Fame, try to enjoy the speeches, and not have your mind be consumed with the fact that you're taking on one of the greatest of all time tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where, you know, I've trained my whole life to be the best. And whether that was in football, uh, you know, the NFL or boxing or now here in the WWE. So I try to, you know, hold myself at that level 24-7, nonstop, uh, to be the best. And it doesn't add a lot of pressure being here this weekend with that because I know what my goal is, what my goals are at the end of the night tomorrow night and where I want to be. So I think it just feels good. I'm natural and, and it's ready to go. What about tonight, Hall of Fame? Who are you excited to see inducted? I mean, DX all the way. Uh, Billy Gunn is, is one of my idols. He's helped tailor me as a superstar. Um, you know, at the Performance Center, he was absolutely amazing and fundamental to everything that I do. And to have a guy like that that, you know, helped make me who I am today, I'm very thankful. So it's a really cool moment for me to sit out there and watch, uh, you know, him get inducted in the Hall of Fame. And, and next to Hunter, because Hunter was the other guy who's just you know, done everything for me. And uh, from giving, you know, NXT Superstars a performance center to just helping me with an entrance. Like, he makes people uh, succeed if they want it. And so to see those guys, you know, go into the Hall of Fame, I think it's it's pretty awesome. It's amazing. Well, Baron, thank you for your time. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank Enjoy you. the festivities I'm gonna tonight. Need it. I'm going to need it. Some <laughs> would say that. <laughs> we'll get it done, though. Charlie, who do you got with you? All right, well, the red carpet is full of glitz and glam and bringing some of that glitz. We have Drake Maverick and his fiance Renee. Look at this sequin. Get up. We've got a matching sequin it's all the way bad. down to your hey, feet. Sequins are my favorite color. Always have been. Well, you, you know, look great in them. Thank you very much, darling. Appreciate it. Well, here we are on the eve of WrestleMania. Such an exciting weekend all around. What is your favorite part besides the show of shows, of course, about this weekend? I just enjoy being able to walk around New York City or wherever city we are bringing WrestleMania to your town. Uh, I just enjoy meeting people. I'm really happy because we're all here for one thing, and that's to celebrate the WWE and WrestleMania. It's the show of shows. And tonight we are celebrating several superstars who have really paved the way for everybody, you know, in the present and the future. Who are you most excited to see inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight? Oh, DX all the day. I remember when I was a kid at school, I used to crutch shop my teachers. I used to crutch shop other kids. I used to crutch shop my parents. My, my father would give me a clip around the ear. And then I'd crutch shop him and run away. So that's, that, that was my life when I was growing up. It was just suck it, suck it, suck it. Uh, the biggest DX fan growing up. I'm really excited to see them go in the Hall of Fame. And very quickly, as the uh, general manager of 205 Live, what are you thinking about that Cruiserweight Championship match tomorrow? Well, last year I sat ringside uh, for the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament final between Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander. This year, between Buddy Murphy and Tony Nice, guys, it's personal. 
you never know what's going to happen at WrestleMania. Well, speaking of Ali, he is standing by with our very own Kayla Braxton. That, that's right, guys. As you said it, I've got Ali and his beautiful wife, Uzma. Now, did you guys, you're coordinating right now. Was this your idea or his idea? Anything that's good in my life is coordinated by this woman. So, yeah, she'll, she'll take the credit on this one. Well, this is a huge year for you. This whole past year has been incredible from 205 Live, and now you're here competing in your very first Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. There's got to be some intense emotions going through you. Uh, this is what I do, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm, I'm the first Pakistani uh, to be in WWE. Uh, I competed at the first WWE Cruiserweight Championship match at WrestleMania. Uh, Cedric might have won that one, I'm not sure, yeah. But hey, this year at the Honor of the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, uh, I'm, I'm going to prove why they call me Ali the Giant Slayer, and uh, regardless of who's in it, I'm feeling good. You're feeling good. Well, you look good, and we're here where everyone looks good at the uh, WWE Hall of Fame. Now, real quickly, is is there anybody in particular that you're especially looking forward to seeing inducted? Uh, obviously, this is such a special night, but for me, uh, you know, growing up watching, you know, the Hart Foundation was really, really special for me because my brother and I would always, you know, end up being that tag team. I would be Brett, uh, you know, but like we would always like, you know, we, we would do the heart attack and we would we would wrestle all the other kids in the neighborhood being the Hart Foundation. So, yeah, tonight's going to be really cool to see that. Well, listen, good luck. I know all eyes will be on you on Sunday. You have been an extreme success story. So good luck to you and you guys enjoy tonight and uh, tomorrow. All right, we're going to head things back now to Byron and Maria. Thank, thank you so much. We are here with Alexa Bliss, the host of WrestleMania. How excited are you for all of the authority you will bring tomorrow? I am very excited. You know, as the host of WrestleMania, clearly that means WrestleMania is all about me. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you control, in a sense, as it's the host. No, it's my show. I host the show. The show can't go on unless I start hosting it. Okay, so between me and, and Maria and you. Yes. What do you have planned for tomorrow? Like, give us a little hint. Ooh. We get the SNLers well, in tomorrow, right too, and you're carpet. responsible. I am responsible. You know, I have brought in Michael Chan, Colin Jost of Saturday Night Live fame, and I'm actually really excited to see how they do in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal because they have been, you know, stepping on bronze toes a little bit, so I'm excited to see how that turns out, which, you know, I was the one who put them in because I have that authority as host of WrestleMania. Do they have moves? Have you seen what they're capable of? I haven't, actually. I've seen them look terrified of Braun. I think it's hard be. not to look terrified when you see Braun. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel sorry for them. I mean, this is not a good situation. I was watching that, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for them. They got what they're asking for. Wow. All right. Straight from the host. <laughs> so tell me, because I feel like super underdressed right now compared to the both of you. What is the process like for the host of WrestleMania to oh, get ready man. for a Hall of Fame ceremony? Oh, wow. You know, well, today I spent all day preparing my outfit for tomorrow and I just one outfit tomorrow I have a few I figured uh, there's Sorry, the that's scoop why we're talking I went about. there we got it high five I Bam. knew it yes yes any reward show any reward yes. award show that anyone hosts you know they have multiple outfits and outfit changes and so I've got a little something planned and it's going to be fun but that's what I was doing today to prepare for Hall of Fame and now thank thankfully I had this already prepared well, you look beautiful and you're the first female host this is a historic mania with the females headlining so how does that feel you know this is an amazing wrestlemania to be a woman we have our women's tag team championship match we have the women as the main event and we have the first female talent uh, host and i'm very excited about that and like our women are all over and we have the women's battle royal and our women are literally dominating the wrestlemania card and it's some awesome. It's so unbelievable. I was posting about it yesterday. I get so emotional because it's time. It's been time. Bye, Byron. Absolutely. Okay. See you later. See you. I guess I'm going now. Hey, here we are. <laughs> Women's WrestleMania, Byron. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Want to throw it back to Charlie? Back to you, Charlie. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, I am so excited to be here, joined by always one of the best dressed guys in the room. Titus O'Neil tonight, no different, joined by your two dapper sons as well. Welcome. Thank you. Very excited about uh, the whole entire evening. Looking forward to seeing uh, Stevie Ray and, and, uh, and uh, Booker do their thing, and as well as uh, my good friend Natty. I'm very excited to see her dad being put into the Hall of Fame. Well, as such a veteran of WWE, I mean, you have had a chance to form close relationships and bonds with so many superstars. What's Hall of Fame like for you to be at and for you to experience? Uh, it's like a, it's just like WrestleMania in general. It's a big family reunion. Uh, we get a chance to see some people that we don't normally uh, get a chance to see on a weekly basis. And, uh, you know, kids, as a kid, I got a chance to see a lot of these 
legends that come here and and uh, and and either get enshrined or supporting others that were with them getting enshrined, and it's it's always like a big family reunion. Uh, we like to call WWE a big dysfunctional fun family, and uh, you know to, this year is going to be no different. It sure is. Well, you have always been such a proponent of the women of WWE. Tomorrow, the first women's main event of WrestleMania. What? Can you say about this? Uh, just amazing, you know. As as if, and not just amazing because they're main eventing WrestleMania, but amazing message that we're sending as a company that those three women are sending uh, as as strong figures, intelligent, competitive. And if you look at all three of them individually, they're all very well accomplished. But they all had a, a point where they could have quit in life. Uh, you know, Rhonda, after her UFC career, could have just left and, and, and been, been cool. She came here, worked her tail off, became women's uh, champion. Becky was about to get fired at one point from the company, and now she's main eventing. And then Charlotte, six years ago, said that she, you know, wanted to main event WrestleMania one day, and some people looked at her like she was crazy. So to see all three of these dynamics and uh, come together and, and on the grandest stage of them all is going to be pretty amazing. Now, as far as your sons are concerned, what's your what are you most looking forward to tomorrow at WrestleMania? Would you say? Uh, Kofi Mania. Okay. Yes. Uncle Dave Batista. Batista, I'm looking forward to his match. Okay. And then Titus, what about you, real quick? Uh, definitely Kofi Mania, uh, and then Uncle Dave, like you said, Dave Batista versus Triple H. Uh, been a long time friend, and and Kofi's been a long time friend too. And uh, you know he's 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 earned this opportunity, and uh, I'm I'm gonna stand actually stand in Gorilla to watch that 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 entire match. So I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully he comes out on top. Amazing. Well, tomorrow is going to be epic from beginning until end. But now let's toss things over to Kayla Braxton. That's right, guys. I'm here right now with the beautiful Mandy Rose and her mother, Mary. I feel like we should call you Mandy Gold right now. Check out this right, ensemble. The golden goddess. She had to show up. She did, the golden goddess. How proud of you, Mary, uh, to see your daughter here tonight? Oh, very proud. Yeah, Mama Rose is here. It's her first red carpet for Hall of Fame. First red carpet. Now, we're in New York. Have you guys gone and had some girls' days, had any free time? Well, we actually, uh, Mama Rose, just she got in yesterday, so we didn't really, and we have a new baby niece, so she had to go see her new grandchild, yeah. so we haven't really done too much yet, but um, tomorrow, you know, WrestleMania, obviously, it's a crazy weekend, so it's going to be fun. I'm just happy that it's so close to home, and I can have my family um, be a part of it, so it's awesome. Of course, and you have a big match tomorrow at WrestleMania. You are in the Women's Battle Royal, so are you ready? Are you prepared? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Mandy Rose is always ready. Mandy Rose is always ready. Did she get this confidence from you? Oh, yes. <laughs> As you could tell. <laughs> now, we're obviously here at the WWE Hall of Fame. Some incredible inductees tonight. So who are you most looking forward to seeing inducted? Well, to be honest, um, I had the pleasure of having a table for three today with Tori Wilson, and um, I know her, you know, fairly well here and there when we just, you know, cross each other, cross paths. But um, I was able to really get to know her a little bit more today, and um, just hearing her story and how proud she is of where the women have, um, you know, where the women are today is really awesome. So I'm really excited for that, and D Generation X, obviously as well, because Tough Enough go way back with Billy Gunn, and I'm um, really excited for all of them. So it's going to be a great show. Well, you both look absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, have a good time tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Do your thing confidently. All right, guys, we have a lot more to come here at the WWE Hall of Fame red carpet. So make sure you don't go anywhere. We'll be back here after this. I don't care who I have to beat, I am reclaiming everything they have tried to take from me. Undeserving? I'm about to show you how deserving I am. I'm going to embarrass and humiliate Charlotte and Becky on the grandest stage of them all. For the first time in 35 years, our women will be the main event of WrestleMania. Winner take all. WrestleMania. Streaming live on WWE Network. Tomorrow night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. WWE Hall of Fame Red Carpet Special is brought to you by Orange Vanilla Coke. Yeah, you heard that right. 
The WWE Universe filing into the Barclay Center, as are the superstars past and present for the Red Carpet Show. Welcome back, everyone. And we've got some familiar faces here. We got the Usos, Jimmy and Jay, and of course, the lovely Naomi. How you guys feeling? It's WrestleMania, baby. We are ready. We are here. And I'm too excited right now. Yeah, we can't move too much because I feel like I'm going to fall off this stage right now. But I feel like jumping up and down because it's WrestleMania 35 and everybody looking live. Everybody looking good. And we in here, man. Hall of Fame. Careful. I can't hold you up. You're right. supposed to be holding really, me up. I'll do my best attempt. <laughs> we're really holding we're each other up. We're clinging to yeah. each other so we don't fall oh, off team, this stage. Team, we're like a big family here. Just hold yeah, on to each other, all okay? Cuddle. For dear life. Let's all cuddle, guys. So we Get had close. the Hardys out here earlier. And of course, big tag team influence here tonight. We're seeing the Hart Foundation get inducted. We're seeing Harlem Heat, a That's team that you are very, very familiar with. You actually trained with Booker T, helped you break in. What does it mean to you to see your trainer and your mentor go into the Hall of Fame again tonight? I mean, you know, the fact that this is who trained us, this is who got us here, this is who helped us pave the way, this is who paved the way in, in tag team wrestling. We are honored to be here tonight to watch our dude Booker T and Stevie Ray go get inducted into the Hall of Fame, yes, man. Sir. It is really, it's a good moment. Ooze, come on. My heart is full and happy right now, Saxon. <laughs> it's a good night, man. Feels right. Who else are you excited to see be inducted tonight? Because I know I'm, I'm pretty pumped about Honky Tonk Man. I'm pretty pumped about Brutus. Man, honestly, man, Sue Atchison. I'm ready for her, man. She's been here the longest and uh, she's just the smile behind the screen, you know? So you guys do a lot of charity work together with Make-A-Wish, right? Man, she was here with my dad, with my uncles, man. So she, she's with the family. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. So I'm, and Naomi, you- a lot you, of joy to a lot of people and she still is. And you were telling me you're excited to see Tori Wilson yes. get her induction here. Yes. Mm. I'm so inspired by Tori, her lifestyle, her fitness. I think she's a beautiful person inside and out, and I can't wait to cheer her on tonight. Are you excited about Mania tomorrow? Of course. Absolutely. I mean, it's... I'm well, we got uh, Uso's big tag team title yeah. defense for you. I mean, WrestleMania record has been a little here and there, but you got a chance a to, to make it there. right. Hey, that's, <laughs> hey. they've, had, they've, had, they've had some challenges, but listen, listen, I, I believe you guys are going to go out there, you're going to rock it. Prevail. Uso Penitentiary is going to be in full effect, and you're going to walk out still tag team champions. Hey, my Polynesian brothers of peace. They, see, they don't know. We go way they back. They don't know. We go way back, okay? Let's talk about that Saxon for a second. Used to, I want to know. was one of our, actually, our very first manager. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And and that didn't work out, obviously, huh? Well, I I, I set the groundwork. Yeah, I set the yeah, groundwork, yeah, yeah, and yeah. now they're the six-time tag team champions. <laughs> and still, and still, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so as we continue to celebrate here on the red carpet, on the box, we're going to kick things over to kick Kayla. It. Kayla, please tell us, who is your guest? <laughs> well, you guys are talking about champions. I've got one here with me. We're talking about Buddy Murphy, who's got a huge match tomorrow defending her WWE Cruiserweight Championship. I know you walk around with a lot of confidence, but you can be honest with us. Are you a little nervous? Uh, I'm not nervous about tomorrow, but I'm nervous wearing a white suit, uh, being around uh, a lot of people. Uh, it's not normally something you'd see me wearing, but uh, I think I'm pulling it off all right, you know? I think you're rocking it. Your best friend Adam is over here. Is he rocking it? He's looking very good. Yeah, very trendy. It's uh, I don't usually see him looking like this, so he looks very good. He looks good. Well, you know, he's uh, defending his championship tomorrow against a former friend, maybe a, a former best friend, maybe. And he calls you his best friend. So I'm curious, as his best friend, what are three words that you would use to describe him just off the top of your head? Three words to describe Matt is... Uh, He's very passionate about professional wrestling, and he's. Uh, I, I'm extremely excited to watch him tomorrow. Three passionate was one, one word. You have two more. You're paying him very, off after this. Very, very passionate. Go, Let's go. just put it that way. <laughs> and before we go any further, I just want to let uh, look, look at his suit. There we Doesn't go. he look? You don't see him like this either. This is very rare for myself, also. Yeah, yes. He got it out of his father's closet, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but he's trying, and it's, go. it's it's good to have him here on the Hall of Fame red carpet. Well, this is the place, if you're going to dress up like that, this is the place to do it, at the WWE Hall of Fame. So is there anyone being inducted tonight that you're specifically excited to see? Ooh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see uh, DX go in. Um, I was always a big fan of all of them, uh, especially Billy Gunn. I always watched him when I was uh, growing up. I thought, uh, you know, he just had something that uh, I really even try and emulate what I do in, uh, in the ring today. So uh, I'm very excited for them um, and, you know, I got in a little bit of trouble at high school throwing some uh, crotch chops and uh, 
yep. you yep. know, at high school and stuff like that. But uh, no, it's good to see them in the Hall of Fame and uh, they deserve to be there and I'm very excited. Absolutely. And real quick, you just mentioned high school. So I haven't played this game yet. I have this little box of just fun questions and I just want you to pull one out. So we don't know what it's going to say. So I'm going right. to go. do it. You're the first one. So let's let's see what it says. I can't even read that hand. That's my handwriting. Watch it. OK, well, how about read it? For if you had to eat the same meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Cheat meal, not chicken and broccoli. Oh, well, it depends if I'm still on 205. Obviously, I'm not on 205 if, uh, <laughs> if I'm doing this. I'm going to say uh, pizza. I'm a big fan of pizza. What are your favorite toppings? I'm going to go, I, I like Hawaiian. Oh, no. So you put pineapple on your pizza. With that, we're just going to go ahead and end this uh, conversation right now. But I do wish you the best of luck tomorrow. You guys have a really good time tonight. And again, we'll see you more tomorrow. And right now, we're going to toss it over to Charlie Caruso. Wow, what an interesting conversation you guys are having over there, making me hungry. All right, I am now joined by Kalisto, his lovely wife, Abby, his cousin. Josh, you are looking stunning, fabulous, amazing tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, I'm just excited to, that all three of us are here and everyone is here and, you know, the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, you have been around for quite a while. You've been to your fair share of Hall of Fames, WrestleManias. What is your favorite part of this entire weekend? Well, first of all, right now, um, I'm, I'm looking at everybody. Everybody looks great. You look great. Everybody looks great. And uh, I'm just excited to see what, how uh, the people react and everything else. It's just uh, very exciting. Right now, my mind is on WWE Hall of Fame right now. Tomorrow in the morning, once they start, I can, hey, it's go time. WrestleMania. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Well, it needs to be go time because, you. uh-oh, look, you got a little visitor behind you. Oh, <laughs> carnal. Este, este, hablas español o poquito? Un no? poquito. Un poquito, ok. Este, también está igual emocionado. Pues por la mañana, hoy, ¿cómo te sientes? I'll, I'll translate. Muy contento. Excited. Very happy. Okay. Excited. Happy. Happy. And. And. Happy. Fiesta. And fiesta. Oh, he just wants to party, man. He, this guy. he just wants to party. Now, it, it is go time tomorrow. You just yeah. mentioned that. You know, what are your feelings ahead of this battle royal that you're entered into? I mean, I'm not the only one, definitely. Uh, Man, it's just going to be many bodies in there, and what I can do is just I have to be very, very sneaky like how I am. And um, just, um, and also I don't want to give out too much. I know exactly what I'm doing, but hey, just know that I'm, I'm small, sneaky, and I'm quick. A man with a strategy. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Byron Maria, back to you guys. Thank you very much, Charlie. We are honored to be joined by Paige, former champion, former SmackDown it's general manager, yeah. turned movie star. How yeah. you doing? Yeah, oh, you know, I'm great, great. Obviously, Fight Women Family just came out, so we just done the, the whole promotion thing, and it was super fun, and I love it, and it got a good reaction, which I love. Yeah, what was what surprised you most? Because I saw it, I was so emotional, I loved the movie. What surprised you about the reaction? Honestly, because it's my story, I feel like I'm so I down downplay myself a little bit too much. So obviously, you have The Rock who's producing it, Stephen Merchant who's a, like the director and writer for it, which is absolutely incredible. And I knew they were going to do a good job, but obviously, I'm like just insecure about my story. So just the way it was received and everyone just was so amazing about it. Like they really truly loved it. And it, it became number one in England, which was like incredible. Yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was just like very surprising how much people loved it. How accurate was it when you watched it in its entirety finally? I, I would say it was like 95% accurate. Obviously things are spiced up a little bit for Hollywood, yeah. but most of it is, is, is pretty accurate. Uncle B was there the whole time from day one, uh, right? I saw you the first day you walked in the door. Yeah, you you're like, you there now. she is. This little <laughs> golf girl walking in and now I'm wearing a dress that belly covers me. What do you say to the girls out there who don't have that confidence, that really want to go after something? Because it felt like in the movie, like you were struggling to find yourself. Yeah, it's, it's really easier said than done because everyone has those insecurities, but you really have to just keep pushing through. And actually, I did like this Girls Up campaign today, and this 17-year-old girl schooled me completely. She was like, uh, haters are your, big, uh, are your biggest motivators. And I love that. I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's totally true. I wish I was thinking like that back then. So I would say the same to girls now, like they're your biggest motivators and just to stay strong and stay positive and it, staying positive is the main, main goal for this. But it's easier said than done. I know that. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, you've been a great role model and especially inside the ring, you've had so many historical moments and you've competed against some of the best. And I yeah. really want to get your thoughts here on, on the precipice of a history making main event. You are very familiar oh with Charlotte yeah, Flair. I'm so 
good, yeah. Very familiar yeah. with Becky Lynch, I Ronda am. Rousey. What, how does it make you feel to know wow. that the ladies are taking center stage tomorrow night? It's an incredible feeling. Obviously, it's best week, so I wish I could be part of that. But at the same time, like, the women's division is in such incredible hands, especially with Charlotte Flair. I mean, incredible. Becky, who I've known since I was, like, 12 years old, I couldn't be prouder of her. Like, I mean, she, isn't she incredible? <laughs> and then you've got Ronda Rousey, who just, like, redefined the UFC completely to main event in that, and then come in here and main event in this. It's just, like, we couldn't have had a better be main event, I feel like. So I'm really proud of all the women and, and what they're doing. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Oh, gosh. I okay. Who oh, is we walking go. out? Winner oh, take no, all. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. I love you, Rhonda, but for, for peace of mind, I can't say you because of my, they're my friends. Um, I love you, Rhonda, though. Please don't beat me up. Um, <laughs> I please don't beat me up. I do really love it. It's so hard because I feel the same way. No, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna sweat and think. Love you, Rhonda. I love you, Rhonda. I'm sweating right now. I do love you. Um, I want it to be Becky. I truly do. And not because like everyone's a massive fan of her right now. I just I've known her for so long. I think she just truly deserves this moment. You heard the endorsement. Paige is predicting that the man, Becky Lynch, the man! walks out of the WrestleMania man! with all the Becky! gold. Guys, stay with us. The Red Carpet Show continues right here on the WWE <laughs> Network. I feel the same way, though. I know. I'm like, please don't beat me up, Ronda. I love you. <laughs> it's You're fine. fine. Seth Rollins has won the Royal Rumble match. Who will Rollins choose? The last thing Seth Rollins wants to do is to get into a fight with the Beast. WrestleMania, streaming live on WWE Network. Tomorrow night, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Hey guys, we're back here at the WWE Hall of Fame red carpet, and I don't know if you can hear it, I sure can. The energy is intensifying, but I'm here right now with Rey Mysterio and his handsome son, Dominic. Dominic, how are you doing? Very, very good, thank you. So he just yelled at me for not calling him handsome. Of course you're handsome. Mask, handsome mask, of course. <laughs> well, hey, I'll tell you one thing I noticed as soon as he walked in. He definitely has uh, an eye for the same brands as you. You're rocking your Louis Vuitton shoes head to toe, and I know the first thing I noticed when I met you the same deal so yes i love i love always uh staying fly whether it's inside the ring or outside of the ring well speaking of shoes you surely are trying to fill and fit into your dad's shoes which are some big ones to fill we have been talking to you a lot backstage at smackdown live so how's that been for you it's been fun it's been quite an experience you know I've soaking it all in but you know it's all coming together it's all coming together how proud of you of your son oh uh, extremely proud uh, you know i have words are not enough to express the gratitude, the uh, the amount of, of of pride that I feel for my son. Um, he's doing an incredible job, and you know he's he's still learning the ropes and uh, is moving along very well. Uh, still has somewhat to learn, but uh, I'm very very comfortable with what he has right now. Of course, I know everyone's looking forward to seeing uh, what he accomplishes now. Right, last week we did announce um, an injury to your ankle, but then you said you plan on still competing for that United States Championship tomorrow night against Samoa Joe. Without a doubt, uh, after Wednesday when I got into New York, the only thing I have done for the last couple of days is uh, ice my, my ankle, raise it up, and I have been using some uh, newer uh, technology to keep the inflammation down and the swelling. Uh, pain is almost gone. I'm about a 95% free right now and range of motion. I'm about a 90% So I have one more night to soak it all in and to be ready for tomorrow. So I'll be good I'll be good by tomorrow. Nothing keeps down the master of the 619. Well, hey, we are here at the WWE Hall of Fame I know you you have some buddies who are getting inducted. So who are you excited to, to see? I think uh, you know DX uh, being such a controversial group and uh, very iconic uh, X-Pac being one of the pioneers for uh, that lighter division to break through uh, Harlem Heat uh, tag team that I faced back in WCW and we can't forget my girl Tori Wilson who was part of the Filthy Animals at one point in WCW and then uh, you know we did a couple tag team matches here in WWE at the beginning of our career so I'm looking excited for the whole night I think it's going to be incredible. All right well thank you so much Ray Mysterio again his son Dominic you guys enjoy your night and we're looking forward to seeing you back on that ankle tomorrow at WrestleMania now we're going to send things back over to Charlie Caruso.
Thank you so much, Kayla. The red carpet, there is so much excitement here and it's not stopping anytime soon. Right now I'm being joined by Tony Neese and his wife, Elizabeth. Guys, welcome. It's so nice to see you. Oh, uh, thank you. Nice to see you. Who picked the blue theme for tonight? Oh, she picks everything. I don't dress mm -hmm. myself. Come on. <laughs> Well, definitely a good choice. I mean, blue is the color of first place, which I'm sure you have in your mind heading into uh, WrestleMania tomorrow, that big Cruiserweight Championship match, huh? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's the only thing that's been on my mind all week. Uh, I've been enjoying everything between Access, now the Hall of Fame, but, uh, but every single day I find time to focus on uh, Buddy Murphy and winning that Cruiserweight Championship. Any strategy you'd like to uh, indulge in tonight? Uh, you know what, the strategy is, uh, you know what, Buddy's very aggressive, so I think I need to be over-aggressive. I need to go at him and come at him faster than he's going to come at me. Now, tonight has got to be inspirational for you. You're seeing some serious legends being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Who are you most excited to see go in? Who am I most excited? Uh, DX is definitely the one I'm most excited for. Uh, you know, I mean, the Attitude Era was what I grew up on. Uh, and just, I pretty much probably wore a DX shirt every week of my life during that era. <laughs> DX is definitely a popular choice among the superstars I've talked to so far in the red carpet. What is it about tonight that really is so inspirational, though, seeing these, these legends, the superstars of the past who have really paved the way for you today? Uh, I think the best part is listening to their stories and just kind of seeing that everybody has their own path, their own story, and you get to see how they pushed through it and how they persevered and everything. Uh, so it's... Uh it's just great to hear them and, and put yourself in that place and say, you know what, I'm going to do what they did to get to where they are. Well, tomorrow you can put that to the test as you compete against Buddy Murphy in that Cruiserweight Championship match. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you very much. All right, now let's send things back over to Kayla Braxton, who is standing by with Bobby Roode. Let me tell you guys, the red carpet just got a, what did it get? What's the, uh, what's the word? Glorious! There you go. Yeah. Was it that hard to remember? Come on. Oh, of course. I, had to, I had to hype it up. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. It's absolutely glorious here in Brooklyn. It's the Hall of Fame night. How exciting is this? This is extremely exciting. And I know you can hear him. I think people watching can hear him. People are getting loud out there in the San Zanin. What do you think about all this? It's great. I love it. I'm really happy to be here. Well, you look absolutely gorgeous. Well, being here, you are going to be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. So have you had a chance to really prepare and get in the right mindset for this? You know, it's uh, one of those things where it's like every man for themselves. And I've been involved with, you know, this tag team with Chad Gable. We've been a team and we've been on a roll for a while. And we were the tag team champions on Raw. And then, you know, we got into a little lull. But now, tomorrow night, you know, it's every man for themselves. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping that Chad's going to have my back at some point, and I'm sure I'm going to have his. But at the end of the day, there's only one winner. And hopefully, when it's all said and done, it's going to be absolutely glorious. I think it's going to be absolutely glorious, too. Well, it is glorious here tonight, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you perform tomorrow night. But we have many legends to watch get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. But right now, we're going to keep things moving. We're tossing it back to you guys, Maria and Byron. Thank you very much, Kayla. And you know what? As we look at everyone who's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, you know who I'm looking forward to? Oh, my. Yes. Our, what a grand entrance. Step inside our... Uh, our oh. Okay. All right. No <laughs> hugs for you. That's okay. Not much of a What's hugger up, anyway. Guys? How What's you up doing? With you? You're a Hall of Fame WrestleMania week, you know. Yeah, you got nothing going on tomorrow, nothing, right? Nothing, yeah. yeah. Just uh, passing these hands out to the 29 other poor souls in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. It, it, Can we see? I want to just see, like, a little matchup here. Wow. That's guys. freakishly. Really? Just, yeah. <laughs> So we all know Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, Colin Joe's, Michael Che from Saturday Night Live yeah, fame. I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, I know how they got into this situation, but I really don't know how they're going to get out with their limbs in check. Um, I'm hoping that we make them sign a release form before I get a hold of them in the ring tomorrow. So they're going to get out by me throwing them out. Wait, can we practice on Byron? That's really Show not needed, Show us what you're going to do with Byron. Suit. Like, I mean, I'm thinking if you took... It is actually one of the nicer ones I've seen on I you. Like, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas right now. It's very nice. <laughs> what if you took both of those guys, right? Hands, ankles, and then took them both over your knee and like snapped you're, them at the same time. Him well, I mean, they got to go to work the next day. I'm not trying to paralyze them. I'm just going to punish them for being silly. <laughs> okay. Is there any chance maybe tomorrow night, you know, you're in the ring, you're looking at them, and you have a change in heart, and you go, maybe I really don't want to inflict that much bodily harm on them. 
That's a no. no. Okay. <laughs> no words needed on that one. That's good. This guy. Sometimes it's a test my patience. I really am no not. No wonder Graves hates you. Well, hate's a very strong word. Uh, <laughs> I heard him say it on live television. I, uh, well, I love you, Byron. Thank you. Thank so, you. By one person. All so I need. tonight, who are you excited to see be inducted? Uh, Miss Sue, without a doubt, receiving the Warrior Award tonight. Uh, I've been lucky enough to work with that lady. and uh, She's an angel. Uh, yesterday, we did a Make-A-Wish event, and they granted, or not granted, excuse me, presented her with a jar with, I think it was 6,300 stars in it, and that's how many Make-A-Wishes she's been a part of behind the scenes with WWE doing amazing amazing things for people all over the world. I can't wait to see her get inducted tonight. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. And this has been an amazing experience. Yeah. Thank you so Cheers. much, Bron. Bron, so nice to see you. <laughs> uh, don't cause too much pain tomorrow. And we send things over for an amazing interview, keyword, with Charlie. <laughs> Amazing doesn't even begin to describe this upcoming interview. I have got legends in my presence. The Godfather, Teddy Long, Ron Simmons. Gentlemen, welcome to the red carpet. How are you? It's always fun to be here, isn't it? Yeah. You, you all look amazing. This purple hat is something else. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Matches my glasses. So obviously, you know a thing or two about being legends, Hall of Famers. What's it like for you to be in this situation watching some of your, you know, fellow soon-to-be Hall of Famers getting inducted? To me, it's very exciting, like the night that I was inducted. It's just a good feeling, you know, to be around all these people, and they still remember you, and they still chant your stuff. And, you know, I, I'm excited. Like a little kid, I'm excited. And any uh, opinions coming from over here? Well, you know, it's always good to be here, and I always like to be a part of this and, you know, and look at some of the guys that are going to be inducted tonight, and every last one of them certainly deserves it, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Holla. Yeah, and just echo what they said. Look, every time I come here, it's like when me being inducted, right? This would be one of the most memorable nights of your life, you know? Very good. Is there any one you're especially excited to see go into the Hall of Fame? Well, we had a... In the nation of domination, we had a good feud against DX, so and those guys are all my good friends, so I look forward to seeing them. Everyone is saying DX tonight. Is there anyone else you're excited to see? Well, I, I, I'm excited to see D, uh, DX, so and also you know, I'm really excited to see the Honky Tonk Man tonight. Oh, that's right. right. Well, more than anything, believe it or not, I'm looking forward to seeing this, hearing the speeches. Yes, that's more. That's what, that's what, that's what I want to hear. You know. And something else that is come a long way since since you gentlemen were in the WWE, the women's division. I mean, oh tomorrow, a women's main event at WrestleMania. How amazing is I, that? I, I think that's great that women have come that far, that they're headlining a main event at WrestleMania, man. I, I think it's great, you know, and their their body of work and the, the way that they do work is just amazing. I mean, I think that sometimes they're better than the guys. All right, well, gentlemen, thank you so much. It was so nice talking to you. We have so much more to come at the Hall of Fame red carpet, so stick with us. Plenty to come right after this quick break. They were the it couple. Get out of here. What? They have become the it couple. Family. There's a new queen in town. Who's the prettiest girl in the world? You are. Sorry, Maurice. You are. <laughs> Nothing will ever be the same. Hello, Maurice. Hello, Monroe. That's ridiculous. But that's awesome. I wouldn't have it any other way. It just keeps getting better. You sound like Nickelback. <laughs> Ms. and Mrs. on USA. WWE Hall of Fame Red Carpet Special is brought to you by Orange Vanilla Coke. Yeah, you heard that right. The minutes are ticking away to the start of the WWE Hall of Fame, but you are watching the Red Carpet Show getting all the scoops before the ceremony begins. And right now, it is a family affair. Family the, affair, that is. We have The Miz. His lovely wife, Maurice, Maurice, her mom, Barbara, Hello. and of course, George Mazan and the father of The Miz. Miz, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. This entire week has been absolutely incredible uh, from, you know, access to all the charity events going on to the Hall of Fame, paying tribute to everyone that's paved the way for someone like me to go over in WrestleMania and be able to whoop on Shane McMahon. So, so let's talk about WrestleMania. I mean, this has probably been one of the most emotional rivalries, conflicts you've had in your entire career. What does it mean to you not only go out there and fight for your own name, but to essentially fight for your family? That's, that's what it's all about for me. Like, you know, the, the, the greatest moment of, you know, one of the greatest moments of my, my life was when my dad came into the ring and said, I love you and I'm proud of you. Now, my dad and I, 
we don't usually tell each other that, we show each other, but whenever you put your hands on me, that's one thing, but you put your hands on my father, that's an entirely different thing, and this is emotional to me, this is something that I'm proud of, my family is here, they've always been here, every time, every time we have a WrestleMania, any kind of event, my family, my friends are here. And it's so, Monroe's first uh, it's, WrestleMania ever. It is Monroe's first WrestleMania ever, <laughs> by the way, it's her first birthday a couple weeks yeah. ago, and this one wants to do a birthday party in New York, <laughs> which is uh, a little pricey if I do say so myself. Might be worth it. $500 limit. <laughs> George, how, how proud are you of your son at this moment? Very proud, very proud. He's done everything. I I didn't expect everything that he's done, but he's with him being married, the baby, everything, it's made me a proud grandfather. Uh, Grace, how are you feeling about tomorrow with Shane and and your hubby? My hubby is the best, uh, and I truly believe in every sense of the word. And um, I think in a, you, you're going to make us proud, and uh, but you always do. You know, but I want you to go out there and just kick his ass. <laughs> what are the what's like the pillow talk conversations like about this Ooh. match? Because, you know, like you guys are talking about this at night, like what you're going to do in bed and just hanging out. I mean, we're not talking, if you know what I mean. Oh! I, I believe in, in I understand what he's taking care yes, of Monroe and our busy lives. You know, when we get in bed at night, we just got to get to it. You know, we, <laughs> All right. Uh, he, he did, perhaps, he perhaps we should he doesn't uh, wake yes. up in the middle of the night and be like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this to him. I'm going to take him. And, uh, uh, no, none of that. Oh goodness, guys. <laughs> Very insightful. Okay. On that note, I love that laugh, by the way. On that note, uh, we'll send things back down to the red carpet. That's with... what my husband does all night. <laughs> oh, honey, I want to go to sleep. Kayla, who are you with? Oh, guys, you guys are cracking me up. I'm here with Sonia DeVille and her beautiful girlfriend, Ariana. Sonia, how are you doing? This I cannot get over this whole getup you've got going on. This is custom, right? This is a custom tailored suit. I decided to be a little different this year and kind of just bring my vibe to the red carpet. So I feel good. And she looks freaking phenomenal. So You both do. Now, this is your second time at the WWE Hall of Fame. So this is going to be a lot of fun. But tomorrow night, you will be in the Women's Battle Royal. So how have you prepared? Are you excited? Are you nervous? When it comes to battle royals, I feel like Mandy and I have an advantage because not only are we best friends, not only are we tag team partners, but we have that chemistry, that bond, that loyalty to each other that nobody else inside the ring has. And I think we're the clear winners. And I hate to ask the question, and I talked to your best friend Mandy earlier. What happens if the two of you are the last ones standing? We jump off together. We win together, we lose together. That is loyalty. Now, again, being here at the Hall of Fame, real quickly, is there anybody in particular you're looking forward to seeing getting inducted? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really excited for this year overall. Honestly, uh, I can't pick a favorite just yet. I'm not going to give you a favorite, but I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be representing the LGBTQ community. It's really cool having my girlfriend by my side. Super cool. Natty got me this earlier tonight, the rainbow, and I just feel like I'm in my element this year. I feel good. Well, you look good, guys. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. And now we're going to hand it over back to Charlie Caruso. Well, let me tell you, I cannot stop smiling right now. I can really just feel the love right now. This is one of WWE's hottest new couples, Charlotte Flair and Andrade. Guys, you both look yes. incredible. Well, we tried to match. Uh, yep, this is our big coming out party. Very classy getup. Thank you. He picked the dress, I must say. I had this yellow one in mind, and he was like, no. Black and white, mommy. <laughs> good, good sense of fashion over here. Every woman could use a man like this, so nice job. Now, Charlotte, you know, I want to talk about tonight, but I really, all I can think about is tomorrow. I think that's on a lot of people's minds. Yeah. It's the first ever women's main event of WrestleMania. You're taking part of, in this as the SmackDown Women's Champion. What's going through your mind right now? I think first it's remembering uh, everything about tomorrow. Do what got me there. Don't change anything. Don't overthink it. Uh, I'm here for a reason. But also, too, tomorrow is bigger than just the three of us. It's a message to the world that you can do anything. And I really hope that every female from the past and present and the women in NXT really take this moment and celebrate it together because it took every single female in that locker room to get uh, to where we are. And I'm, ju I'm just, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Now, speaking of the women of the, the past, the present, and the future, Tori Wilson's getting inducted tonight. Yes. How exciting is that for you? Uh, so I just remember looking at Tori when I was younger and just thinking she was the most beautiful woman alive. And uh, to see her get her moment, uh, especially when I saw her at the Royal Rumble and saw how nervous she was, she had the opportunity to do that. And then to be inducted, uh, I'm so excited for her. All right, well, thank you so much. And real quick, we're going to send things over to Byron and Maria. Maria.
It's almost time. It is almost it time. It is almost time for the Hall of Fame. I'm I got so a question. Excited, I got yes. a question. Are you ready? I'm ready! No, 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 no. I said, are you ready? I'm ready! Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to support him for beefcake for, for everybody. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the red carpet. It's time for the Hall of Fame. Love you guys. In a house of legends, there's only one hall of immortality. The Attitude. And if you're not down with that! The Music Man. Bigger than the Rolling Stones. Even bigger than a Beatles reunion. The Tag Team. Many consider them the dominant tag team of the 90s. The All-American Guru. Tori Wilson, a true trailblazer. The Barber. The Barber is a cut above the rest. And a family.